inadequate sanitation is for India a 55 billion dollar problem per year. So it's necessary that we have a system that we can deploy as quickly as possible. The project was implemented inside the BITS campus because BITS is a residential campus we were able to test it at different scales inside the campus. This is an electrochemical reactor which is based on the experiments that we had done on the lab scale as well as the pilot scale. Basically this causes a electrolytic disinfection that is electrolytically it produces chlorine and hence uh, kills the organisms that are present in the wastewater. The septic tanks cannot remove all the pathogens from the water and this represents a health hazard for the people living around these toilets. Developing a treatment system for a single household as well as a treatment system for 100 people equal. So in two years our idea is to go to a little bit of a free scale uh, or a pilot study so that it could be replicated in other areas like in slums or in wherever it is or in rural communities or wherever it is required. So we have optimized everything in this small reactor and then we process towards proceeds towards the final pilot scale reactor. By an electrochemical system, well, by using electricity, we can treat the water without adding any chemicals. And if we combine this system at the moment with the wetland, we can show, already at full scale, that we can treat this water and constantly meet safe discharge standards, particularly for pathogens. The major advantage of this project is that it could be integrated to the existing septic tanks as well. So the complete system with the toilet and the treatment system works out to be about costing uh, 1.8 rupees per person per day. So which means that a, a worker who is working at the toilet also gets paid because of that 5 rupees charge per, for usage in which we can think of 3 rupees for the person who operates it and uh, 2 rupees uh, is the running cost or the, the electricity cost to treat the wastewater on site. So that's the major advantage of this uh, system. There are millions of sites where we could deploy or technology which we have now already tested at full scale. So in the next phase we'll be trialing in many locations in India showing that our technology can work in many different locations. And once the first series of installations is there, we want to expand the cap capabilities of the technology, recovering also the water and recovering the nutrients back to agriculture. Mm -hmm.